Storm lane points have been added to the be sure. Shire Crystal Ball has been added to the Burnt Shirt Piece was, has been added to the Incinerator has been added to the You can take it! Ayo's account has been added to the tree. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Shire Crystal Ball has been updated. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Oh, I finally get to go through the red door! <laughs> So the current of our first case opened. A deadly class trial. I do have one set skill and that's the m this one. Wait, am I going into battle? Is that what's happening? Leon! It is definitely Leon! It has to be! Absolutely has to be. Last trial. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay then, everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. <laughs> Friendship <laughs> penetrates even death's barrier. <laughs> oh, the, I feel like that's even worse, man. Friendship penetrates. Okay, I still hate you. That only signifies my hate for you. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? Yeah, there were that? only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I notice, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone lives, everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Let's go into this. Ooh, dizzy. Evidence is strong. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that Frick. the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. There's something odd about the last statement. It definitely contradicts what I already know. For the first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. She didn't even have a chance oh, to resist. Crack! She didn't even have a chance to resist. There we go, got it. Break. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? Of course not. 
She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in. It's definitely and Leon. That's where they finished I the know job. It's you. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. S sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. We need to determine that what was used to kill Sia. No, it's a knife. Ooh, does he? Kitchen knives. Can we look for any different color words? So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Obviously. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. No, that's wrong. Nope, it was a kitchen knife. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Yes, it was a kitchen huh? knife. A kitchen knife? Yes. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Obviously. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Yes. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Cor could it, you could see the handle in the bottom of the knife. <laughs> Why am I getting infuriated by this? And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. <laughs> it's so obvious. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't. It's you! I know it's you! That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. Do you really believe that? Yes, I do, because it's Leon. She's right, there's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well that I'm not the killer. No, no. Ayo is a killer. Ayo is. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He what? did it in secret when nobody was in the dining room. No, that's wrong. There we go. Right. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, Clearly not what if killer. I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. And then I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass. All the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together? What? And lying to protect each other? What? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? I don't think so. So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. That seems backwards. Why would you want to help? So in other words, two people can work together, 
but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! <laughs> He's getting annoyed. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yes, you did. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seemed the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! Leon. I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Me? <laughs> right. Hi, Leon. But then, couldn't know, either you. one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... Well... well Just what? spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which okay. means, we have airtight alibis. Hi. Yes? You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the <laughs> night together? It's... <laughs> it's... unwholesome! <laughs> I'm a girl. You are? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Taka, what the frick, man? But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. It's Leon. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. Who? Someone who's not here. You talking about Sayaka? She's the one who came to the dining hall, and then later, she wound up dead. She took the knife, S Sayaka. Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was clearly Sayaka. What are you talking about? I got it. Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Wait, was she planning on killing me? When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? Yes. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? I didn't kill her. See? He did do it after all. What? That no, is... you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm-hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Give me one second. I'm just telling my dad that my grandfather just came in to tell me. Damn, if I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't you understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Yes. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? 
Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? What? Your first hangman's gambit. Have fun. Something that should have been on the scene, but wasn't... That must be the crucial point. Should it have been... Oh, hairs! The hairs! They got picked up by the lint roller! If we can just figure out what that something is. Okay, now I gotta shoot things. Hangman's gambit. Oh, funny. There we go. Now I understand. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So the culprit removed some evidence? I forgot about that until I was thinking about it. Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. Hmm? If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Yeah, it was to cover up who the actual killer ah, was. Ha, ha. Yes, very true, very true. And it's Leon. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? It's you. You know exactly why. The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Yes. No. There are oh. other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would yeah. like to hear these reasons. Yeah, there's plenty of reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Yes, yes, yes. The numbers, but I know it's Leon! Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Yes! What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. Yeah, because they thought it was locked. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yes, 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 yes. They tampered with the doorknob. The killer struggled getting into the bathroom and the evidence that proves it. Uh, toolkit. Dying message. Bathroom. Bathroom. Doorknob. I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Yes. Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It yeah. proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Leon, I know it's you. Stop You still acting. don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. That it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice that at first, but is that the key point here? Alright, bathroom door frame. We gotta. Okay, I'm ready. Hands on space. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Yes. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. Yep. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. Yep, yep, yep. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. 
Because Sayaka had locked it. Oh, frick, frick, frick. And finally, ding, ding, the culprit ding. had Sayaka cornered. And to finish the job, they stabbed ding. her with the I kitchen missed. knife. I missed. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? No, it I wasn't. Admit it. I missed. We Whoops. already know the answer. Can I try again? Obviously, it wouldn't open, but the real reason for that is... Because Sayaka had locked it. There we go. No, that's wrong. Great. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. There After we go. all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, he's getting nervous. Aren't you, Leon? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you did that on purpose. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. Because the nameplates got switched and they thought that was Sayaka's room. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah. The doors got switched. The nameplates got switched. One important detail. Something the killer didn't know. For some reason, they were convinced the door was locked. Which means the important detail the killer didn't know was crime crime took place in my room. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! Wait, wasn't this game supposed to be mean to me mentally? And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! Exactly. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Yeah. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Yeah. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is... Exactly. ...a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Yeah. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. That's why I've been trying to tell you. Okay, <laughs> then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give it's up. It's Leon. Quit without saving. What? <laughs> what are you talking but about? what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. Majority rules? Do you really think that's a good idea? You, Leon. Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. All right, well, is it Jimmy Neutron? Oh, you. You gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well... I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? I don't even know that. Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? But it was I don't my think key. so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! Yeah. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. 
How about this? The killer got in the easy way. What easy way? They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, -ho! trying to argue against me? What Sounds really? like someone doesn't know his place. Okay, Mr. Drill Man. Hello? Why exactly can't that be I'm it? beside you. Why are you pointing in front of you? The reason there's no way Sayaka invited her killer into the room. I already have that, the answer. Like a sword, switching rooms. Took it. It's coming to us. I got him. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Yeah. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Uh, that could be true. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. See, yeah, okay. Where'd that come from? Check the nameplate to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. I didn't find it. And these are the words that appeared. Oh, man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? So she wrote that note. Which means, Was she playing on only me? someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Really? Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. Was clearly so, Sayaka. Makoto, did you write this? No. No, I didn't, but of course you didn't, because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature, Sayaka's signature. Obviously. Then, that note, Sayaka wrote but, it? But why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. Is that me? She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you Leon? got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, what so it wouldn't have any effect on me. Okay. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Yes. Very well then. Pay attention. Okay. Going back into another one. What bullet do I have now? Take your argument. Make your argument. Door nameplates. Okay. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yep. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Yep. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. There you go. No, that's wrong. Great. The nameplates on my and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched? Yeah. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. 
Everybody and the safe. nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Yeah. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Yeah. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other. So switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Obviously. Right? Okay, then who did it? It was probably... Who switched the name? It's killer, me, or Sayaka. She didn't mention it. It has to be Sayaka. Me Sayaka. and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. Exactly. There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplate to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only yeah. have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. Exactly. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting Why someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably... Whoever she invited over came in and attacked her! No, I kind of at this point think that she was trying to kill somebody. Oh, was she trying to kill Leon? But Leon defended himself with the sword, and um, he ended up killing her? We figured it out! We know who did it! Whoever she invited over is the culprit! But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! <laughs> Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. She was trying to frame me for the murder! Was she trying to frame me for murder? Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That exactly. reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Yes. Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Oh, I get it now. So they used the sword, she went to attack them, they used the sword to block the attacks, and then they like hit her wrist, and it made the sword like fall out, the knife fall out of her hand. They took the knife, and then stabbed it into her chest after she went to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom when she dropped the knife, they grabbed the knife, they opened the door, they went in and stabbed her right in the gut. And then, um, her writing on the wall was probably her last words, and it's Leon. Leon was the one who killed her, but she tried to kill, um, Leon first, and she was gonna blame me on his murder! How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Because of the paint on it. The reason I know Siaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because... There we go. Siaka's wrist... Glittery... Yeah. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery there. And See? The glittery stuff isn't on her hand, so she didn't use the sword to defend herself. So that's what had to happen. So she was planning on killing Leon, framing me for it, but Leon grabbed the sword, broke her wrist, and she dropped the knife, and then he decided to kill her instead for trying to kill him. And she ran to the bathroom, and he was trying to take off the doorknob. And the doorknob, um, because he thought it was locked since he couldn't open it. And when he got in there, he stabbed her right in the stomach, and she, in her last moments, like, wrote uh, Leon as he ran off to destroy some evidence. Is... is that gold? Yeah, it's the gold paint. It sure is. Specifically... 
the gold coating from the replica sword. And it's not numbers because it has to be Leon spelled upside down because she was like in a daze and she was just thinking of writing the name. But she didn't get like the, uh, the cross thing for the N. She didn't finish making the N, so it looks like numbers. You barely have to touch that stuff and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! Yeah. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Exactly. What happened in my room? What led to Sayaka's de death? That's what we need to make clear. Good luck and have fun. Whoops! <laughs> Well, I already have it figured out, so. Replica sword, she kitchen knife set, replica sword. Alright. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. Uh -huh. A sword-based sneak attack. <laughs> no, that's wrong. There we go. Had to be the Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Huh? Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? Exactly. There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Exactly. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going <laughs> on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? Exactly. That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, exactly. there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. Exactly. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. No, I don't Then think they so. took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. No. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself, but then the culprit took that from her, too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. No, she was the one that had the knife because her hands aren't covered in glitter. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Yeah, how the hell, Leon? Huh? Huh, Leon? Because she you. never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Yeah, her hands. The part of her body that shows that she never used the sword. Her palms. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? Exactly. The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, what? but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? What? No. That has nothing to do with this conversation. No, that's not it at all. What is up with you? There's no way Sayaka washed the gold coin off her hands because... Oh. The water was off. Yes! I got it! According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. Yeah, the showers don't work at night. In other words, at night. at night time. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time, right? Oh, exactly. I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. <laughs> it's been four days! Oh, my. What, what is up with you? You're no different! You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey! Hmm? 
I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. Why would you take that as a compliment? An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means... That means that Sayaka used the knife! The killer is the only one who used the sword. Yep, to defend themselves and then they decided to kill Sayaka after she tried to kill them. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... Sayaka. Must have been the one without the sword, Sayaka. Exactly. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Then the one who attacked first was... It was Sayaka. Sayaka? Yeah, and she was trying to frame me. Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Exactly. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And she was gonna frame me. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Exactly. Maybe the reason I she wanted Leon's to switch face. rooms... He's, he's nervous. He knows that I know it's him. ...was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Exactly. Because she brought up the fact that I would do... Um, ...everything to help her no matter what. And I promised that. I was gonna help her get out. That means that she was planning on using me to frame... ...and <laughs> I was supposed to just go along with it. Sayaka wanted to... ...on me? Exactly. Dot, dot, dot. That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. Exactly. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. Uh -huh. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. Yep. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So, all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. Exactly. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Yeah. She was planning on framing me. That, that, that. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Exactly. Holy shit! She was planning on framing me and then I get killed. But in the end, her plan backfired. Exactly. She launched her attack with the knife then found herself under attack in turn. Yep, and it's Leon. You see the panic on his face? He knows that I know it's him. I know it's you. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. Yep. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she'd planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Has to be true. It's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Leon. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? For time? Oh, yeah. We got to decide who we think did it. Makoto, that, that, that. right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. I know who it is. It's if Leon. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. It's Leon. It, is, it, is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. <laughs>